Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here at SD Fish and Sips, Saturday, May 28th, 2022. We're down here in La Jolla at the launch. We got a pretty busy launch here with a bunch of slayers. I just met Mauricio and Oscar. They were giving me the report. I guess there's a lot of bait out there right now. So I'm excited to get out there. I got my sabiki to be able to catch the bait with right here. And then I got my iron uh, to drop through, yo-yo first, and then I'll put the surface iron layer if I see them. That's on the Titan spinner. Got the Nomad to troll with. If I catch some mackerel, I'll put some bait on that. And then uh, same thing I could put, I already have a live bait set up on the Avid right here. So let's get started. You ready to go. Before we get in the rest of the video, make sure you smash that subscribe, pound that like, show love and support. Do it and live with the dream, fish it hard. I was on Mustang last night, got in at about seven. Offshore fishing kelp, had a yellowtail. And now we're on here in La Jolla, where it all started. Live in the dream. crazy I just got airborne and my motor conked out what that's not good I was hitting I was practicing standing up riding and hitting the waves and next thing I know my motor is conking out so hopefully that was just man I broke my seat too shredded I thought I couldn't shred the plastic one. Oh, it just unclipped. Got this new swivel seat. I used to have the metal one and it all rusted out. It wasn't working good, so I got this plastic. It just popped off. So we're gonna put this back on. There we go. And then we're gonna fire up the motor again. In neutral, Put the choke. business now we can go chase we're gonna go chase the birds have my other irons ready to go Mauricio was telling me that somebody got a yellowtail on the hookup bait on the tube bait so I got the Steven specials right here I might throw those or I'm gonna have the riptide the Shane special going for the surface iron we're gonna make it out to the zone here where I see some birds some kayakers That's all it was. I saw it wasn't fitting right here. So it wasn't feeding enough gas in. Leaking a little bit. I adjusted that. Go in here and turn on the bait tank. Six volt lead acid battery. Always got that charged up. I got my lures and irons ready to go. Okay, bait tank. Turn the fish finder on. I can hear the battery on the bait tank going. But I'm not seeing any water flowing yet. attack let's get it you get Mac is that what all this stuff is boiling on the surface yeah. 
Yeah, that's what you want. It's looking good out here. It came off, huh? Oh, nice! Yep. Nice greenies. Did you get some back roller right here now? Yeah, that's what you want. The cool sniper. Yeah, you don't need nothing, huh? That's this is a good sign when the bait's this thick. This is slow troll, big mackerel territory. But I'm getting some uh, sardines too. Wow, there's a lot of bait. I haven't seen this much bait in a long time out here. The sardines I think are better for the bottom, but I've always found yellowtail like the mackerel the best. Yeah, the greenbacks. Yeah, exactly. And bigger the better. I've never, unless it's too big to troll on your reel, you know, if it's taking out too much line. Otherwise, go with the biggest greenback you can get. Yeah, that's my opinion. The yellowtail, they won't hold back. <laughs> they go after it. Did you, you fish last weekend? Yeah. How'd you do? Did you see them at all? All right, so right now I only got, I got only one other greenback mackerel. See, there he is swimming right there. That's the greenback. Then I have these other sardines. I got three, four sardines, but they die off really quick, especially when my bait tank's not working right. So I'm gonna try to make some more mackerel. This seems like sardines up above. Oh, what's going on over here? There's a lot of birds. Sardines up above, mackerel pushing them up. And I want more mackerel, so I gotta find a wait till when I see mackerel on the screen, little red dots, instead of just on the surface, then I'm gonna drop my sabiki. Some bigger marks on the finder, so I'm gonna switch out down low. So I'm gonna switch. That's why I like these clips that I get. So I can switch out to the yo-yo and drop on these marks. I'm seeing some hard marks. Okay, time to start trolling. I got my mackerel already. There's a lot of bait out here. I've been noticing that. There's even more underneath. A lot of sardine too. But I got my rig that I was fishing the kelp patties on Mustang yesterday. Offshore right here, a 30 pound fluorocarbon. But I have a smaller J hook on it right now that I'm gonna switch out for this, this ring circle hood hook. The Gamagatsu two, two odd or three odd ring circle hook for trolling here in La Jolla. And typically I also like to have a swivel up top, but I already have this tied on. Pick out the biggest bait that I was able to catch, this big green back right here, nose hook. way out troll hard now we just gotta wait for it to go off make it a little looser see what hits it so you have four sardines I'm gonna try to make some more mackerel dang I thought I was getting bit Something was hitting it. Calico, probably. What is that? Calico? Barracuda, Benito, it, it killed it. But it wasn't a yellowtail strike. This greenie's kind of dead, but we'll see. No, 
two dead. I got some sardines left. There we go. Let's see if they'll hit the sardine. That's what they're fishing on Seaforth. That's what they're chumming the waters right here with. Seaforth just came by. They're chumming it up nicely. I just got hit by something. They're gonna anchor up. This is good. Marking fish coming off the bottom. Fishing with the new seaboard. Yep. Just a big calico. Taking my green back. That's the name of the game, the calico bass. On the sardine, we're just gonna release this guy. Yo, my last bait, last sardine. I'll have to go make some more mackerel or just troll the nomad. Dang. Calico bass. All freaking dead. All right, birds are already killed my bait. I'm gonna have to go back on the inside and make some more mackerel. It's no good. Yeah, birds picked it apart. It didn't go down low. All right, let's go back on the inside where the mackerel are at. The sardine, not what I'm looking for. At least they're big sardines. Normally I don't catch sardine on the sabiki. are big enough I just wish that there was some greenback mackerel Pacific that's maybe I'm feeling it this feels heavier all sardine big beautiful sardine I like it there we go we got the Spanish mackerel now Tell you what, the bait is back in La Jolla. Got two Spanish mackerel. Got four or five sardines. Nice, need to get some green back. We got birds, we got boats, we got bait. It's like the good old days of La Jolla right now. There we go, that's the one that I'm looking for. Big dog green back. That's gonna go immediately on my wing circle hook that I was talking about earlier. Right now I have a sardine out here, my preferred bait. The biggest mackerel. That's what people were asking how big of a mackerel is too big for yellowtail. My answer is there is no mackerel that's too big for a yellowtail. So that's why I was able to catch this big dog here. We're gonna go with the nose hook right there. That's the nice thing about these lever drags because they take so much line. Hopefully a calico won't hit this, but you never know. This is good yellowtail bait. Avoid that calico bycatch. I've been battling so much calico lately. So we're gonna go on the outside of everybody, the whole fleet. Let's see what happens. Okay, the new Seaforth just cleared out. Now the birds are going crazy. They were fishing this area right here. I'm still trolling. I found the biggest greenback I could get. And then I made Spanish, I got a whole bunch of Spanish and Spanish mackerel and sardine. We'll see how long that lasts in the bait tank. It's not really working right right now. But we're gonna slow troll. See what we can happen under these birds. A lot of birds today, a lot of bait today. It's good, signs of life of La Jolla coming back. I like it. So I just retie because I want to get my swivel up above uh, the braid right here. Man, that's what I learned yesterday. I don't like the green braid for fishing those kelp patties on the party boats, on the sport boats. Can't see it. So I got a swivel now instead of uh, Albright knot. 
I'm gonna find that green back again. There you go. Found my greeny. Okay. He's still nice and lively. We're on. Another calico. Man. This one took the big Mac. He's trying to get rid of, away from the calico bass because I had that huge mackerel. But it turned out he still took it. It's a big calico. That yellow tail, though. Okay, I'm gonna go deeper. I'm gonna go cruise for a little bit, get out of this zone. I'm here on the inside, there's a bunch of other boats. I'm not feeling it, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my way. Every, there, I mean, it's packed, it's a holiday weekend, so it's packed. We're gonna make our way. Might as well throw out the Nomad while I'm moving around. I can't go that fast because of all the chop today. So I'm gonna go ahead and troll the Nomad. Calico. Another big one. Jeez. These are some monster calicos, but not what I'm looking for. They're gonna all get released. I got my yellow tail from the sport boats to be able to snack on. Another one. This one on the Nomad. UTX. A lot of boils out here. Calico boils. Here we go. Another one on the troll. Can't get away from them. little foul hooks on the underside belly another one at one point I, I marked like two two or three yellow tail wolf pack coming through but other than that it's been all this calico it's just out of control Making the turn to come back in. Okay, he got off. Another calico. I just can't get rid of these things. Just talking to them right there on the boat. Same thing. They've seen a lot of bait. Uh, they were trolling the mackerels, but no fish. No yellowtail. Man, that's probably like my seventh or my eighth calico. I'm not putting this away. I'm gonna keep trolling. Another one. Yeah, through the head, kind of. The eye. More birds on board. another one foul hooked here so that is going to do it and wrap it up for the day saturday may 28 2022 here and loya is starting to get hot the water's heating up it's 63.7 right here there's a lot of bait in the water i made pacific greenback mackerel spanish mackerel and sardines troll all those around not destroyed by the calico bass. 
on the green took one of the big calico bass took a huge greenback mackerel that i was trolling i was trying not to get the bycatch only get yellow tailor white sea bass but i got that all those calico bass then i started trolling the nomad same thing calico bass i went all the way around the corner is in the shallows from 50 feet 40 feet all the way out to 140 feet searching hard fishing hard still no yellow tail that's how it goes it's all good don't forget smash that subscribe pound that like show love and support thank you for all love and support i'm fishing hard i'm trolling hard but i'm seeing a mark coming through right now of one big mark hard mark so i'm gonna jig and see what this is maybe get one here on the end on the yo-yo iron watch this I marked some yellowtail at one point, I'm pretty sure, when I was trolling around. But other than that, it was mostly calico. A lot of boats on the water today, other kayakers. I saw a handful of people. That was really cool. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to troll and fish when there's all that boat traffic. But it's all good. Get out there, go fishing, enjoy it. La Jolla's coming around. We're almost into June. So hopefully the yellowtail pick up here and the bluefin continues strong. I'm going out next weekend trolling hard. I'll do the report video tomorrow is on must.